Hey everybody, um, like I said, I read the questions on our YouTube page from our subscribers asking questions about uh, for future Q&As and one of the most common ones that came up was ground and pound. What do we do when somebody's striking? And let me show you the, some basic answers, answers to that that relate back to the base posture connection pressure formula that we use. So everything in fighting, any kind of fighting, warfare or otherwise, involves managing space, managing distance. So the answer to using the guard to defend against somebody that's doing a ground and pound means you have to manage the distance very well. So the first one is if I have him close like this, if I have Alex this way, Alex this way, then he's not gonna be able to hit me well, right? Where I don't want him to be is right here and me like this where he can hurt me. So if you guys have been following along with our guard or you were paying attention to the new 45 video guard series we put out, then you know we break posture with the legs, right? And then here, if we look at the posture, go to sit up, Alec. Here, it's fairly easy for him to sit up and make space. Here, it's gonna be even easier because my feet are low, go to sit up, yeah. But if I raise my legs up high and pinch my legs together and use my legs, it's much harder for him to get posture. Yes, and then with my upper body, I pull my shoulders back, just like I would in the clinch. Now it's difficult, try and hit me. Very difficult. As he goes to hit on this side, keep going, I can block it out and then I start to bring my knees in. Okay, and I can do that here or my feet go to the hips. Now, if he does get space a little higher, then keep going. I'm gonna bring my knees between me and him here as he starts to hit, try and hit. I'm gonna control from here. You'll see my hands are on the back of the tricep. What I'm not doing is this, because then he can just beat the crap out of me, right? I'm controlling here, keep going to hit. And I control those arms on the, on the back swing. And then the last posture I'm going to go to as he backs up a little more is here. Go to reach my face. He should not be able to reach my face, right? I control here. Now I can, if I'm going to attack him, I'm going to first attack his base. And then I'll attack him and I can stand back up. So again, don't think about it so much in terms of technique. You think about controlling distance. And, um, and you're going to control the distance with the posture, like everything else, and all the material we show you for gi, no gi, closed guard, is going to apply directly to fighting if you're focused on fundamentals.